wonder how do we fix all that but it's really taking authority over what the enemy is trying to do he's the enemy of your soul and he's working things in your mind and your emotions that you stirred up and reflect that out at people and the moment that we can take authority over the enemy of our soul and get our soul right and begin to see people the way that God sees them and enter into the relationships that God has developed for us there will be a greater unity there will be a greater agreement and the power of God will be seen and the power of God will be known and when the power of God is known and when it is seen it begins to change things like never before it begins to turn things around it begins to take things that were going a direction of destruction and turn them to righteousness it takes sick bodies and turns them and makes them whole it takes broken lives and restores them once again as if they had never been broken at all it takes bondages that have been uh, held people in chains time and time again and year after year and it breaks them and sets the captive free but it does not happen while there's people problems that exist in our life and so God says release the people problems for you don't wrestle against flesh and blood but it's principalities and powers and I've already set the way and delegated to you the authority to take a hold of those principalities and powers and bring down the strongholds that hinder your thoughts and your mindsets and bring them to nothing and raise up a new standard and stronghold in your life which is the stronghold of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the way that he would have us to walk in for there is power and demonstration to be seen through the church of the Lord Jesus Christ to break down and destroy the strategies of the enemy that the light of the glorious gospel might be seen in this generation in a way that has not been seen before it is a time to prepare the way of the Lord thank you Lord Jesus glory to God